Hello everyone. Our video has dropped for Sunday. But still, I think it's time for a devotional thought. And this thought comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 18, verses 9 through 14. This is the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, where Jesus says, Two men went up to the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other men, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even this tax collector. I fast twice a week and give tithes of all that I possess. And the tax collector, standing afar off, afar off, would not so much as raise his eyes to heaven, but beat his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. This is the gospel of the Lord. And it makes a very powerful point that we all are beggars before God. This much is true. And if we are in denial of this and think, yeah, God, I'm so great. Let's hang out together. It's not going to end well for you. But if you fess up and say, yeah, God, I messed up. I'm a sinner. That's me. For the sake of Jesus Christ, forgive me. You're forgiven. You are right with God. It says this tax collector, people who are notorious for being cheats, went home right before God. And given these times, yeah, we're beggars. What's going to happen? We don't know. We need God all the more. It's time to admit this. Come clean and rely on God. For everything we've so, trusted on so far, there's no guarantee it will come through. Time to rely on the rock. Amen. Let us close with prayer. Lord, you open your hands and satisfy the need of every living thing. I pray that you continue to be with us, sustain our bodies through food and medicine that we can have access to. I pray, God, you keep us healthy from this virus. I pray that you be with this nation and this world that people may remain calm. And the doctors and nurses may quickly find a solution and life may return to normal very soon. But Lord, whatever happens, guide us always in Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, in whose name I pray. Amen.